Where, where do we start? You too. Team, keep it clean. More big news uh, for the Ravens. And we got to cover a wide spread of things in a short amount of time. So let's get straight into it. First and foremost, rookie David Ajabo, who, oof, boy, on Twitter. <laughs> It's been a lot of back and forth conversation amongst Ravens fans about David Ajabo and George Pickens and whatnot. And I've just been in the background scoping. But anyway, um, David Ajabo, uh, Harbaugh said that uh, he swears he's going to be back by midseason at the latest. At the latest. And hey, that would be nice. That would be great. But Harbaugh did say, he said, we got to get rid of them beach legs. I said, ooh, okay, Harbaugh. I, I know you could be Petty Harbaugh sometime, but, ooh, that was a little low blow to David Ajabo. And I, I know it was a joke, so nobody's taking it seriously. Because I know it's always going to be somebody, oh, man, great, he was just joking, man. You take we know it was a joke. Anyway, um, so with David Ajabo, we'll see what happens with him. If he can return and sort of help the Ravens out for a little playoff push, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not counting on him this year. I'm not going to expect him this year. So if he does end up making his words count and he does end up coming back by midseason, oh, awesome. That would be great. And it, But anything we get out of him, in my opinion, this year is a bonus. It's a bonus. Um, now, Ronnie Stanley. Tyus Bowser, John Harbaugh said, Ronnie's looking good. I think he's got a shot for the first game. But, of course, you want those guys to practice uh, the next two to three weeks. And with Tyus Bowser, it's the same thing. So, um, ooh, that's – ooh. <laughs> Ronnie had a shot at the, uh, the first game last year, too. And then we saw what happened. He didn't have a shot for the rest of the season. So, again, with, with all these guys – it's the same thing. Please don't rush them back. Now, uh, speaking of Ronnie Stanley, Ronnie Stanley kind of, you know, we, they know us Ravens fans. Um, we got a lot of uh, detectives, Ravens fans. If they see something on social media, they will be like, they will break it down. They will tell you why this player put that. They will tell you what it means, give you the full breakdown in detail. I've done it myself. I've seen a lot of other people do it too. But Ronnie Stanley on his Instagram, uh, he put a little, a little emoji of the little, uh, what are the little yoga pose or whatever that is. Somebody meditating or something. Then he says soon. And then it was a ninja after that. So that will give us an indication that he feels like he's going to be back soon. And with Harbaugh saying what he said about Ronnie Stanley, I mean, hey, we can hope, right? We can hope. Because again, Ronnie Stanley would just make life easier for everybody. His, his impact would be so huge. Even if he's not the same Ronnie Stanley from before. Well, when he, even if he's not the same Ronnie Stanley that he was when he was healthy. Um, if he can just start to work his way back to that. Uh, and it just starts by playing. It starts by playing. So we'll see. Ronnie Stanley, I know you know what you're doing with, with that Instagram thing. So, hey, don't, don't be messing with our heads, man, even though he is. Um, but, hey, you, all right, now we're going to see. We're going to see. And with Tyus Bowser, yeah. Uh, same thing. We'll see. We'll see. Now, um, John Harbaugh and Gus Edwards. Now, this is a little bit. Man, we ain't really been hearing anything positive on Gus Edwards. Uh, the only thing that I heard is that it's not looking like he's going to be back anytime soon. That's what I heard. But what John Harbaugh said, Gus is doing really well. He's kind of, uh, he's kind of a patient rehab guy. I don't know that he'll be... Uh, there the first week But before the season's over I know he's gonna be roaring and ready to go So before <laughs> So before the season's over He's gonna be roaring and ready to go Before the season's over He's gonna be roaring and ready to go The NFL regular season has 17 games 18 weeks and So before the season's over Gus Edwards is gonna be roaring And ready to go Now hope I'm gonna take your word on that I'm going to take your word on that. Even though that word covers 18 weeks, I'm going to still take your word on that. I, I'm going to trust you on that one. Um, but, yeah, like I said, I, I just I haven't heard anything good with, when it comes to Gus Edwards. Uh, we haven't even, like, seen him even out on the field or nothing. Like, not, we haven't even seen him on the sidelines, I mean. Of course, we ain't seen him out on the field, but we ain't, we ain't even seen him on the sidelines or nothing. But, yeah, I, I ain't heard nothing good on that. Now, as far as somebody who did return, not somebody whose return we waiting on, uh, somebody who is actually back, J.K. Dobbins. 
Uh, Harbaugh said um, how he does in the next week to two weeks is going to tell the story. He's got to get in shape. His leg got real tight yesterday just going through the individual period just because he's been rehabbing. Um, and he said the range of motion, quickness, extending it when, when he strides, those are the kind of things that will tell the story. And that's pretty obvious. I mean, with J.K. Dobbins, we don't expect them to throw everything on him at once. We expect it to be a gradual process. That's why the um, one of my guys, DMV, oh, yesterday he made such a great point. Um, because we were talking and the Ravens, we were talking about the Mike Davis signing. And just the, the timing of it. And he brought up the point. He was like, man, he thinks that the Ravens signed Mike Davis when they got an update on Gus Edwards that wasn't looking so good. And I was thinking, man, that makes sense because they signed Mike Davis on May 10th. So that was after the draft. They already had J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards on the roster. They had Nate McCrary signed to a future reserve deal already. They still had Justice Hill. They had drafted Tyler Beatty as well. But they still signed Mike Davis um, on May 10th. So I was like, ah, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Not saying that is what happened, but what my guy DMV brought out, it, it just made too much sense with the timing of it. Uh, and now they signed Corey Clement, too. Uh, so we'll see. But again, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. You know, J JK is iffy right now, but he is on the way. Gus Edwards is iffy and probably going to be iffy for a while. Overcompensate get more than enough running backs so you can be ready for when when those guys are out and then when they come back hey for the, and it'll be a gradual process for both of them so we'll see how uh, everything plays itself out um with Lamar Jackson and and these these reports and updates from cuz John Harbaugh was on serious uh serious radio um so these updates and reports uh, some came from Ryan Mink uh, as far as the updates on um what John Harbaugh was saying on uh, Sirius XM Radio. Uh, and then we got to switch it over. Oh, before we switch it over. Uh, Mink also talked about how Lamar Jackson said he's making more suggestions to Greg Roman on plays. Uh, and there was a play yesterday um, during practice where Lamar made a suggestion. And Giro was like, all right, go ahead. And they went for it and they scored. And that, I mean... That makes sense. It should be that way. Lamar obviously has uh, has input, and he should have input. He should have a say so. Um, and you know, Lamar, like any chance he get, he, we all we all know the famous "go for it." We all remember that. Um, but it's it's a lot deeper than that, and it should be a lot deeper than that. Um, with him calling plays, him changing stuff up, him doing stuff the way he wants to do it. Uh, that's how a lot of it should be done. Um, of course, you still got the coaching staff in place for a reason, and they're going to implement their things. But you, you want to make sure that your quarterback, your franchise quarterback, um, that is, he's doing things that he wants to do. And he's doing things that he's happy doing. Because you want to make your franchise quarterback happy. Happy quarterback, happy receivers, happy tight end, happy offense. Happy touchdowns, too. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, um, and then last but certainly not least, Jeff Zrebic. Uh, reported that the Ravens had some workouts. They worked out uh, linebackers Chris Smith and Brandon Copeland, uh, who have both been with the Ravens before. Uh, and they also worked out Trent Harris, uh, who also is a linebacker. And they worked out a defensive end named Ronald Blair uh, and a defensive tackle, uh, Dondre Tillman. So the Ravens have been extremely busy um, over the, during this whole week. They've been extremely busy. Uh, and then tomorrow night, it gets that much busier because the Baltimore Ravens, they play in their very first preseason game against the Tennessee Titans. So that should be a lot of fun. Should be a lot of fun. I know the year we know the starters ain't going to be playing, but it's still going to be a lot of fun. Just to give you all a heads up, we will be live streaming the game. Wow, it's been a long time since we live streamed the game, huh? Since, uh... I guess week 17, right? Or week 18, uh, when the Ravens played the Steelers. Yeah. That was the last time we live streamed the game. That was the last Ravens game. <laughs> Ooh, it's been a minute. So, yeah, that should be fun. That should be different. Um, should be refreshing, too. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it because it's, it's been a long time coming. Uh, and, again, uh, as we head into tomorrow, the official preseason game, I got to thank you all uh, for making this offseason what it's been and really making it fly by. Uh, thank you all for 56,000 subscribers. Um, channel's still uh, very, very small, but I, I appreciate uh, all of y'all. 
I appreciate it a lot. I appreciate you subscribing, uh, supporting the videos, um, commenting, telling people about the channel and whatnot, and just staying active. The, the questions from subs, the everything from top to bottom, I appreciate y'all a lot. I love y'all. I hope y'all have a really, really great day. I'll see y'all later on. We out.